Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Curran and I'm Leslie Draffin. We begin tonight in Waco where a mother is pleading with the community desperate for answers in her son's death. Tony Rivera was shot and killed in Waco last October. Reporter Imani Payne joins us now with more on his mother's mission for justice. Imani. Doug and Leslie, Tony Rivera was just a teenager who just graduated high school. He was looking forward to starting the rest of his life, but that was cut much too short. This is how Michelle Andrade spends most of her days, reminiscing on the good times. Memories. I miss him. I miss him so much. Her 19-year-old son, Tony Rivera, was shot and killed in October. Waco police said they believe the shooting was connected to another shooting later that same night, but no new details have been released since then. And those were the days I was on the floor. I was crying, crying out to God, walking up and down my street. I mean, I remember those days. And even though it's February, these Christmas decorations are still hanging in her house. A reminder of Tony, who loved the holidays. But he, he knew I decorated for every occasion, every occasion. So now it's hard for me to take down because I know that I haven't seen him yet come to experience the decorations and come and lay down in the living room for the tree on and the Christmas music and opening presents and, and it's hard. Since Tony's death, Michelle has held a balloon release, taken to social media, even putting an ad in the local paper, hoping anyone who knows anything will come forward. As for her son's killer, she has this message. And that I ask God to be with the person that did that. And also I ask God to just, wherever this person is, that he could confess and just be honest about it and let us know. While the family is at peace, they're hopeful Tony's killer will come forward and pay for the crimes so the family can have closure and begin to heal. Tony was the person to help others and we want someone to come out to help us at this point to get justice to who, who did this to him. Waco police tell me they are still actively investigating this case Anyone with information is encouraged to contact the Waco Police Department. Doug and Leslie. All right, Imani, thank you.